Uh, something that I notice happens to me often, that when I'm intimate with someone and it comes to penetration or orgasm, I start to burst out crying. These emotions are very different, sometimes just joy, but often also emptiness, deep sadness. Uh, I'm wondering, is it only my emotions getting triggered, or is there, through intercourse, a meeting connection with the other soul happening, and it could be his emotions? It's always your emotions. <laughs> so, if you're a lady and you're being penetrated, and at the time of penetration or at the time of orgasm, or afterwards you cry, it is because of some causal emotion regarding deep grief and sadness, and in her case she felt that sort of hollow, empty feeling afterwards, and that is a feeling of nothing, that I am nothing, and you need to allow yourself to experience those emotions. When you release them at the causal level, you will no longer have them. So even if it takes like, if for three months you cry after every time, that's fine. Allow yourself to do that. Don't worry about the guy getting stressed out about that. You know, that's his issue, he needs to feel about that. Allow yourself just to cry, allow yourself to release it. A lot of these emotions entered you before you even had a conscious recollection of yourself. In other words, before the age of one and a half or two, a lot of these emotions had already entered you. And so you're not going to have recollections, intellectual recollections of what the causal, that what the event was that caused that emotion. Allow yourself to experience it. And can I say that's been really powerful for me to just go with whatever emotion comes up. During, and so sometimes I cry and sometimes, and if you have a partner who's really sensitive to that, you can actually, uh, and if you yourself open up to, okay, what is my emotional experience during sex, then I found a lot more started coming up and we could experiment with that and Aiden's very sensitive to stopping and styling and that kind of thing. But um, lots of deep um, sexual beliefs or feelings that I have had about myself have come up through that process. Yeah. So um, we may be having sex together and then Mary all of a sudden just starts crying. And so we just we just stop at the process there and then and just allow the tears to complete. And then sometimes afterwards Mary says, I want to continue now, so we continue, you know. And sometimes she feels like, no, there's a lot more here and I just can't do it anymore, and that's fine too. So there's no problems with me with that. Um, and we were talking to some people in the break about um, something similar when I was saying to Jen about um, sex really being a giving act and something that's been really powerful for us um, is to not get caught up on the climax and what you're going to get and who's going to get there and, but if you're just in that space together of giving it's quite a different space uh, emotionally quite beautiful. Yeah, so when you start actually concentrating and focusing just on the giving, what happens is that the energy that flows through from you to the other person heightens their sexual response. And then if they're focused on giving to you, that emotional energy cycles again through you, heightened or amplified. And so you get this response and I can and we both feel it as as we do it. Now as soon as one of us has an emotional reaction, we find that energy flow just stops. Bam, it just stops there. And, and straight away in me, there's a, there's a response to that of obviously of no longer having an erection. And straight away, you know, we know there's an emotional issue that needs to be sorted out. And so we sort through that emotional issue. It might take a day or two days a week or even to sort through that issue. And then what happens next time we make love, that cycle, you can feel the cycle happening. So we're very becoming more and more sensitive to that the amplification of sexual energy flowing through you. The sexual energy will not flow through you unimpeded because you've got emotional barriers, right? Um, and, and the key is to allow the emotional barriers to be released and then as those emotional barriers are released, the sexual energy flows through you in a more and more unimpeded manner. Eventually you'll get to the stage where it just flows through you both constantly, <coughs> which is a beautiful place.